folks, welcome back to the house that never sleeps, and welcome to a, another video. We're working on this Martin HD28 today. The last time we worked on this, we glued a crack right there. You probably can't see that there. I'll get you and bring you over here and show you in a minute. And uh, the binding is stuck up just a little bit right there, higher than the side is. And the glue. I went over it, I think I went over it once and let the glue run down in the crack and that glue sets up pretty quick. Second time I went over it, it filled it. And uh, the glue sticking up a little bit higher than the surface of the side is. So, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to try a razor blade first. And see, there we go. Take a razor blade and see if we can scrape that along that crack and get it down somewhat level and then switch to a high grit sandpaper and even it all out because I can really feel that. So let me get you and bring you over here closer and we'll get right into it. Hold on. So here's what's going on. I just took a razor blade and I scraped it across a piece of metal to create a burr on the end of it. Taped both ends. I don't know why I taped both ends. I only really need to tape the end toward the guitar. The crack starts right there. I can see the glue. So I'm just going to very lightly start scraping it down until you can no longer feel that that is we'll have to switch to sandpaper here shortly I think before very long actually that's like in fairly good pretty quick actually. Still gonna have to use sandpaper though to finish it. That's the high spot right there. Get it down pretty close. I can get it down to the thickness of this tape. You can see there I think you can see on the blade what we're getting off of it. It's sticking to the blade now. It's taking it down. Cue ball's here. Hi cue ball. You always come when I can't pick you up. This is one of the shiniest guitars I think I ever saw. <laughs> I mean, man, it has got a extremely high gloss finish on it. I've got fingerprints all over it right now. Where I've been, I've been working on this, taking shots at it, you know, each day a little bit. And you want to take your time and just uh, make sure I'm in the center of that blade. Where I want it to be. There, I got a, a good cut that time. And then just keep doing it until you get it low enough to switch to high grit sandpaper. We're all, almost there. Like I say, I did a whole bunch of this off camera though, so you all missed most of this. Just doing this right here, this very thing. up there. Right in that bend is the worst place. The worst. See the tape keeps the blade from scratching the guitar side with the middle exposed. I don't know why I take both ends of it up. I just have a habit of doing that. With the very middle of the blade exposed, it's just about as wide as that binding is. A little bit wider than that. It's just enough to scrape where I need to scrape. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch to sandpaper right now. That needs a little bit more there in the middle. Anyways, you get the idea. I'll bring you back when I do switch to sandpaper. And uh, we'll go through a few grits of that. Yeah, better go a little bit more down here too. Right in there, I can feel it biting into that glue. You can hear it. You probably can hear it too. Right in the very center is where it needs what's left. Anyways, I'll bring you back shortly. And we'll go take sandpaper to it. 
All right, well, welcome back once again, folks, to the house that never sleeps. I took a razor blade to it again. Cause it was uh, kind of funky, slow going with that kind of sand that much down. So now I go back to sanding. Still got, still got 1,500 grit on here. And now I'll sand in small circles. There's still a little tiny bit of a edge right there. I'm hoping this sandpaper will take that down and be rid of it. Once and for all. Yeah, I see, and this guitar's got a really high gloss shine on it, man, and it's... I got fingerprints all over it right now. Big time. Right in there, I still feel that a little bit. There we go. That helped. I still feel it some. I have to get that down nearly even before I switch to the 2000 grit. Because that 2000 grit, man, yeah, that's good. That 2000 grits, it's very, very fine stuff. <clears throat> very much fine. It is. Now we gotta work, start working on putting the shine back into that puppy. Alright, what do I do with the 2000 grit paper? Wow, I just had it in my hands, man. It's gone. All gone! All gone! Sending people all gone. I'm gonna have to shut the camera off and go find the damn paper, I guess. Hold on. I've been going at it with this 1500 grit sand paper. You want to be careful if you're doing this. You don't want to burn through the finish here. That would be disgusting and horrid. You don't want that to happen. This guitar's got a fairly thick finish on it. That's mostly just binding right there that I'm feeling. Can't even feel it down here anymore. A little bit right in there, but not very much. Let me flop the paper over and get a new unused piece of paper. Yeah, like I say, it's just a very long, slow, painstaking process that you got to stay on. If you have to do a little bit of it each day, then do that. I'm trying to sand in circular motions and sand as little bit on the guitar side as possible. See, most of that's that binding right there. sand in circles in a, in a minute again and then uh, switch to 2000 grit and uh, yeah that's taking it off better without sanding in circles and I go over it with 2000 grit I'll sand in circles again and then of course we'll lastly apply the old semi-chrome and still I still can't believe that the uses that I have found with that stuff man Unbelievable, the things you can use it for. So this, this is just, uh, I know it's probably boring as crap, but uh, something's got to be done, and we're almost got it done. Like I say, I've been working on it several days, a little bit at a time with razor blades. This is the first time I took sandpaper to it. I might have to take a razor blade right there a little bit more again. That's getting it. It's just very, very slow. Very slow. When I, when I switch to the 2000 grid, it's going to be even slower. <laughs> That's when we smooth her down. Buff it out and all that good stuff. Try to get another piece of... There we go. This razor blade has an angle. Or this razor blade eraser has an angle on the end it's flat and it's angled so I can kind of get use that to my advantage that helps a lot always I'll tell you what if it's going to happen it will happen when that camera's running <laughs> this is just 
going to take the marks out that the 1500 grit paper put in. I might try out that buffing stuff that someone sent me on this to buff this out with. I don't know if I want to. No, I'm not going to try it either because I don't want to use this guitar to learn how to use that stuff on. Not a high dollar guitar like this. I don't know, I might. Let's see how hard this is or how easy it is to get out. Yes, sir. Had to cut another piece of paper, by the way. I never did find that one. <laughs> I had it in my hand, man, and it just like was gone. All of a sudden, it just was gone. Went to fairyland, I guess. I don't know where it went. 2,000 grit paper. I think we probably can switch to the chrome polish and see what that does now. You can't even feel that, man. That took care of the, the uh, ledge, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, I'm going to get the chrome polish out now. We're going to get serious. Hold on. That chrome polish may not be abrasive enough for this. I scratched it up pretty good with that sandpaper. We'll see. We'll try. Find out pretty quick if it is or not. Miracle salve. I've said it all along. I gotta turn around here and give myself a little more maneuvering room. I guess you can see okay. This is good stuff right here, man. I'm not going to press very hard. You know, the more you want it to bite in, the harder you press. And you can do miraculous things with this, with this stuff. As you all know already, without me telling you again. Come on, baby, stand up there. Look at that, it's already working on it. Yeah, we'll have to go over it several times. But it's going to work, I think. I do want to try that buffing stuff out. There's buffing wheels that one of y'all sent me. And the buffing compounds. But I, I just don't really want to try it out on this guitar. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll try it out on one of my own, maybe. I'll video that if you guys want to see it. If you like that kind of thing. Oh yeah, mighty fine, mighty pretty. <laughs> All right, give me a clean spot now, a great big one, like so. If you're removing scratches from your guitar, whether you use this polish or buff it with a wheel or however you do it, show you here in a minute what I'm talking about exactly as you get nearer to the end of your polishing or buffing job each time you put that stuff on there you want to work in a little bit bigger area okay that uh, blends in what you did with the rest of the guitar yeah it's looking good you have to go again uh, and that's what I say you might have to go over it several times with this stuff but in the end, it'll look like a factory buff job. I was going to say finish, and I happen to think it is factory finish. <laughs> and now, many elbow greases later, I'm going to use this stuff here. Smith Pro Formula Polish. That's what it looks like. Thank you, Susanna. You know who you are. This is my second bottle of this stuff, by the way. I got a bottle after you recommended it and liked it. Used it all. You got, I think it says to shake it up well. I've been shaking it for a good little bit, so it ought to be ready. It's uh, not got any abrasives in it, but I've got that down slick. It's, I mean, it's you can't feel anything, man, but finished now. So, let's spray it down with this and wipe it down. Wonderful stuff. It smells good, too.
Look at that. Look at that, folks. Looks like a factory job to me. <laughs> I'll get you and bring you over here closer and show you. I want to do that again. Fold my rag around here in a different area. Wow, I hope the camera's picking that up. Oh man, it looks good. All right. That comes out of that bottle in a funky way. No abrasives in this stuff whatsoever. It's just polishing compound that works. <laughs> it truly works, man. Check that out. Look at that. It's so slick. I mean, you know, the rag just, there it goes. Falls off on the floor. It's so shiny and smooth. All right, I need to fold the rag different and get another dry place. There we go. I think. Wow, check that out, man. I'll go over the entire guitar and polish it for him eventually. You do not want to leave this stuff on your guitar. Don't spray it on there and go smoke a cigarette or take a break. Spray it on and get it off quick, man. I don't know where I heard that or why I'm saying it. Maybe something happened. I can't remember. <laughs> Too good. But uh, I don't like to leave any polishing compound on there very long. I don't care what brand it is. I just don't like it. Check that out, man. Let me get the camera and bring you over here and I'll show it to you. Hold on. All right, give you a little bit of perspective here so you know what you're looking at. You're looking at it in the same angle, really. That's what it was. But look at that. Look what a shine on that puppy. Over there where I sanded it. I can't get the light to reflect on that. But all of that was sanded up. This half of it over here was. I can't get the light to reflect on it to show you. Yeah, maybe there you can see it a little bit. There's a little bit of glue seeped out right there. And that's what that is. That you, I don't know if the camera's even picking that up or not. I don't know if you see it or not. But that's, that's all that is. It's just glue. Won't hurt anything. I mean, you know, it's just where when I put, put the glue in there and squeezed it with the clamps, it came had squeeze out, basically, is what it was. But it's nice and smooth. You can't feel it. Uh, the binding is a little bit whiter right here where I scraped it away. I don't know if the camera's getting that or not, but it is. It starts to turn yellower. Just this little area right there is a little bit whiter than the rest of it. It'll turn, it'll turn eventually and blend in with the rest of it. Look how good that looks, man. Check that out. See what I mean about a shiny guitar? That thing is really shiny. It'll be a lot shinier than that when I get it to buff the whole entire thing. This is a bone saddle, and he wants a tusk one. I've got it made. I'm not sure where it is exactly right now. I like to never found this little red eraser. Anyways, I've got the saddle made already. The next video, I made the saddle and cut it down to the same height up and down this way as this one is. And that's too high. The action was too high. Me and the owner talked about it. But that, that's a starting point. I'm going to put it on. The next video, we'll put it on and uh, string it up. And measure, see how much I got to take off the saddle to get the action down, what we wanted at, and uh, check the nut action and all that stuff again. So I have a bone nut and a tusk saddle. And I'm going to send this saddle home with him, so if he don't like the tusk, he can always pop this one back in there. The action will be a little higher, but it'll be at least still have. He can sand over the bottom of it if he wants to take some away. Anyways, wanted to mention that. Next video, we probably will hear this thing. Probably on the next video, we'll get to hear it sing. So there you go, folks. Uh, show you this one more time in case you want to try that stuff. I would highly recommend it. It's pink. It looks kind of pink to me. Very good polish for uh, and this stuff here. This miracle salve. I know it just sounds incredibly stupid that you would use semi-chrome polish on a guitar, but it is amazingly works amazingly well. I mean, you know, those of you that's tried it, I guarantee you, you're going to like it on guitars or whatever else. Maybe I can show you the guitar under that light there. You might be able to see it better. Check that out, dude. Dudes, guys, gals, look at that. Amazing stuff. If you ever polish your guitars, remember to take your time. Go, you know, don't 
put that stuff on there and start grinding away at your finish. If you've got scratches to remove, it depends a lot on how deep the scratches are into the finish. You know, if they're pretty deep like I had here with the sandpaper, after the sandpaper, you got to apply some, some force to it. And then keep lightening up as you go. Go a little bit lighter. Don't press as hard the third time or second time. Fourth time, press even lighter than that. And just keep doing that. And then, once you see you pretty much got the scratches out of it, use something like that, uh, uh, well, any kind of guitar polish that's not abrasive. And shine it with that, and you get this same effect right here. You know, it turns out pretty good every time. So, take your time buffing your guitars, buffing the scratches out of it. Take your time anytime that you buff your guitars. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Cheers to y'all, and I'll see you again very much soon. Wow. The boogity pop.